hang this right on me. Hey, but what are you doing? Hey, I was just getting some old junk. I thought, you know, maybe spruce up the set, kind of like Pee Wee's Playhouse or but something. But a light up arrow? Mm. Well, what about like a cymbal monkey? No. Mm, what about a rusty tricycle? Maybe, but you can work on that later. Okay. Later! Who could I call for a rusty tricycle? Hmm. That you're doing on purpose, sing like a sing donkey. Talk to the girl that intimidates you. Pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! Oh man, if I don't care, man, don't me, son. And now, the original Fall Guy, Jason Sewell! Yeah, everybody, welcome to Later with Jason Sewell. So glad you're joining us on the program. Bo Counts, boys in the band, feels good Bo to be here. Counts. Feels good to be here. Oh, uh, yeah. We got a great episode lined up. But before we get to all of our guests and all of the fantastic things that are happening in the episode, we want to go to a segment right now where one of our viewers has written into us a segment we call Mailbag. He's the host with the most, and when you ride a post, you're gonna wind up in the mailbag. Mailbag, mailbag. mailbag. Yeah, mailbag, Bo. Oh, yeah. One letter a week. One, that's about all we get, one email, one letter a week. Although that's an improvement from when we started the show. <laughs> if you're um, lucky, right? <laughs> yes. So uh, this letter coming to us from a viewer uh, asking us, um, you know, uh, noticing that Jason Redcliffe, our band leader, still missing uh, after two weeks, and, and where is... Where is Jason? I mean, in good riddance, but yeah, but where is that guy? <laughs> where is that guy? So, you know, we don't really know either. We were actually recently contacted by uh, the police department, and they asked us to sketch out what Jason looks like uh, so that they could have some visual when they're looking for him out in the community. And these are the sketches that, uh, that the band came up with. An artist rendering, if you will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that one right there, gorgeous. Right oh, there, it's not, almost not perfect. Not so much. Uh, no, and then... Owen, Owen's drawing is really fantastic. Owen. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you're like a... You're I'm, like I'm a, quite the artist. You are. You're like a closet Van Gogh back that there. One's Look at that one's going on the fridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on the fridge. And hopefully we find Jason, and he joins us again for a future episode uh, right here on Later with Jason Sewell. Yeah! And remember, folks, you can send us your emails. Drop us a line at laterwithjasonsewell.com. We would love to hear from you. Read your email here on the program. Speaking of the program, man, Bo, we have an excellent uh, episode lined up for, uh, for our viewers, for us. You I'm excited. You should see to the left of where I'm standing. It I know. It's incredible in here. Man, it, I'm it, telling and, you. And let's just talk about to the left of where you're standing. So some of our friends, Sam and Anna from over there at the Buttered Biscuit in Bentonville are joining us. Hey, guys. Hello. Hey, Jason. Hello. Uh, what are we going to be sampling today? Looks like you have all quite a it. spread. We're going to be yeah, sampling all of it. Menu is over there. I hope you guys came hungry tonight. We've oh. got, uh, we have the biscuit beignets that's glazed with a sour cream and honey marmalade topping mm. with the raspberry melba sauce. My God. We have a breakfast burrito with cage-free eggs, fresh shredded cheddar cheese. That's amazing. Anna, great. Sam, thank you for the introduction. We'll get over there to the chef's table and just a little bit of visit with them a little bit more. Uh, who else do we have on the program? But we have um, Mindy Yates joining us. Can we get a round of applause for Mindy joining us in the program? Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, Mindy is coming by to talk to us. Man, she has had uh, a career shift, and she is into interior design, and we're going to talk to her about that and how to do interior design on a budget with some thrift store items, so that's going to be exciting. One of our guests, our musical guests that I'm really excited about, they're like a, they're like a regular on our program, uh, Handmade Moments joining us here on the program. Round of applause for Handmade Moments. Yes. <laughs> 
One of your favorites, one of my favorites. Uh, and then right now we're going to go to a segment cooked up by our friend Chris Ingholm. Chris is traveling around Arkansas. Oh, our uh, finding Ozark Surfer. Ozark Surfer. Say. He's oh, yeah. finding all of these little, uh, <laughs> little pieces of art throughout our state. So check that out right now. And then come on back after that, folks. More happening right here on Later. <laughs> Coming into Harrison in northwest Arkansas, the first thing you notice is the gorgeous classical buildings clustered around its tree-lined square. But I hadn't come here to see the architecture or go fishing along legendary Crooked Creek, which winds through town. I had come to investigate a history mystery. The Lyric Theater has looked out on Harrison's Courthouse Square since 1929 when an eastern steel man, J.W. Bass, built it along with the iconic Hotel Seville nearby. The Lyric played the new talkies and remained the cultural center of the town until the 1970s when it closed down and the building fell into neglect. Twenty years later, the Times newspaper suddenly announced it would buy the building and put up a parking lot. That raised the hackles of a local philanthropist who bought the theater and formed a non-profit to raise funds in order to restore it. The lyric was saved, and with it, the precious artwork inside. You see, when the theater was first built, it was decorated with six 12-foot high murals painted by somebody who knew what they were doing. Leaking water had damaged them, so a local artist, Gene Brantley, volunteered on weekends to fix them. A master painter himself, Gene found that the murals were of excellent quality and not likely painted by an artist from the Ozarks, let alone the United States. So who was the mysterious painter? Legend has always been in Harrison that around that time a hobo muralist came to town and he traded his painting skills in exchange for room and board and that he stayed in the upper gallery of the theater. The mystery haunted me, so I went to Tanette Madison, director of the oh, Boone County there. Heritage Museum in town. Online, she found a mural in a bathhouse in Hot Springs that resembled those in the Lyric, signed by J.W. Zelm. We then located other works by Zelm all over the southeast, but to prove that he was the hobo muralist of Harrison, I'd have to put on my gumshoes. 800 miles later, near Panama City, Florida, I found Foster Hall, built in 1912. There, surrounded by six Zelm murals, I met his daughter-in-law and two of his granddaughters. John William Zelm was born in Latvia in 1883. By the time of his death in 1971, he had embellished the interiors of scores of theaters, restaurants, hotels, all across the South. Then we opened up Zelm's old steamer trunk, where we found the original proposal he submitted to paint the interior of the Lyric Theater, signed by Agnes Bass. To celebrate, I paddled into some big wave action on the Gulf Coast. Then I rushed back to Harrison to catch a stage play at the Lyric. Later with Jason Sewell is proudly presented by Sam's Furniture. For the largest selection of quality name brand furniture at everyday guaranteed low prices, get it at Sam's. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Joining us now, we have Mindy Yates joining us. We're so happy to have you here on the program. Thank you for having me. Oh, my gosh. My friends over at Cityscapes just love you, say you're a ton of fun, uh, you're the bomb.com, and that we need to have you on the program. That is... Your friends from 2004 yeah, said exactly. you're the that bomb.com. That's fabulous. Yes, fabulous. It is fabulous. I don't know. I guess I'm one of a kind. That's yeah, what I... Becky Gosnell says. Yes, that's what I've heard. <laughs> Uh, so, so here's what, what I know has happened of you. You had a career in one field, and you recently shifted to the field of interior design. Tell us about that trajectory. What was that like for you? So did you see, like, a phrase that was painted on a piece of driftwood that, like, really resonated? You go, yeah, that's it. Yep, I'm Following doing it. Following my dream. That's yes. what I did. No, so I've always loved the interior design, always. Um, but, you know, going to college, you think, oh, i got to do the thing that's going to, you know, make me... Um, successful. Right, like a um, late night television show. Um, yeah. You know, <laughs> people, you know, make yourself marketable. Right. So I did the accounting and HR and I've done it, did it for 25 years. Yeah. Um, what changed my perspective on that is my son was diagnosed with cancer mm. when he was three and uh, 
just gives you a new outlook on things. And so my husband said, go for it, let's do it. And so Let's here, do what drives here, you, let's do what you're passionate about. Here we about. are, yes. Yeah. That's so here you are. So you made that shift over the past like a year or so? It's no, been very recent? No? Yeah, it hasn't been that long. Oh, um, wow. I've, I left my job um, in January. Okay. And then we had some other family things that happened and kind of wondering, what, okay, what, am I going to do this? Am I not? God, what are you doing with me? Yeah. And uh, somebody asked for my portfolio. And I said, I don't have one. <laughs> so I started to take pictures. I hired a yep. photographer. And just from those few pictures, I'm working with five, five clients right now. And yep. it's been really fun. And uh, my house being in Cityscapes, yep. fabulous. Yep. Getting to talk to you guys. I mean, We're gonna well, your career is going mean, to blow up it. now that you're on know, this program. So. Yeah. So I hear that you have a particular passion for helping people decorate their homes with thrift store items, decorating your home on a budget. So talk yes. to me about kind of that philosophy and what, what you know, you're inspired by. I think that by. started for me in our last house, so five or six years ago, and I don't know really how it started. Yeah. I just started going, and I'm like, I love this. I love the what the, what the story is behind them, the curiosities that you can find, yeah. the odd things, um, and your money goes a lot Farther. Yeah. So absolutely. when we decided to renovate the house we live in now, which is what you'll see in Cityscapes, mm -hmm. um, I got a storage unit because <laughs> we were moving into a house that was twice the size of yeah. our last one. And so we ju I just started finding things I loved. And I think that's where people have a lot of uh, a hard time as you walk in and you look for something specific. You can't really do that when you thrift mm -hmm. or go to an antique store. You just be have to be open-minded and think, where can I use that? What can it Here's be? a dirty old rusted tricycle. Exactly. What can that be used yeah. Yeah. Um, You never know. And you can um, find the use for it. Yes, right? I love it. Um, a lot of things I love to leave the way they are. I I like brass that's tarnished. I like frames that are all tattered and falling apart. Um, that that's just that's just part of what makes the character, and it just fits well with what m my style is. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, that's amazing, Mindy. So now we have a question that we ask of all of our guests: um, If you were allowed to have one superpower, just one, what would that superpower be? What would you choose? We've had a lot of great ones so far on the program this season. Uh, Mindy Yates, looking at you, what's your superpower? I'm going to say turn me into a scientist who can clone me. Yeah. So I can have, you know, the mom that goes to volleyball and mm -hmm. t-ball and whatever. I got the mom at home that's cooking the dinner and doing the grocery shopping. I got the mom who's cleaning the house. Yeah. Need some Sounds like a new business. You need some support. Mindy well, Yates' Volley not... Clone Warehouse. Yeah. <laughs> yes, if that could only work. And you are making homes beautiful all throughout Northwest Arkansas. Folks, you can find her in Cityscapes. You can find her in various ways online. Um, yes. And you're working yes. on projects right now, right? I am. Stuff is happening right yes, now. Yes, it was, till yeah. 11 o'clock last night. Oh, I was gosh. doing my second install oh, ever. Congratulations, so I guess. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. congratulations. Congratulations, thanks. then. Mindy, thanks. thanks for joining us on the program. Thanks for having me. Stick around. We got more happening right here on Later. Weather fights begin. We have a beautiful afternoon coming our way. As you can see, skies are clear and they're going to stay clear today. Plenty of sunshine outside. Temperatures, they'll be on the mild side as wait, well. Wait, 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 Melissa. Uh, I've got snow in the forecast. It's probably going to snow. This afternoon, we got cold air here. It's going to snow. What are you talking about, Rick? I just looked at the models before I came out here and it's nothing but sunshine. Uh, the new model information out there, it's going to be snowing, Melissa. I mean, you, don't you see that? I don't know what model you're looking at, but sunshine is on the forecast, no snow. Look, 40 years experience. I've seen this before, it's gonna be snowing. I'm going off the models. I understand that your experience helps, but sunshine is what we're looking at today. Snow, it's gonna be snowing, I guarantee it. Sunny skies, it's Rick. It's gonna be snow. It's gonna be hard to get snow when you have sunny skies. It's not, it's gonna be snowing. You know what, I'm sick of this. I'll see your snow, have a blizzard. Take it. Hail! Ow! Oh! With Ow. fire! Oh! 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 oh. Flash flood! Finish her! Lightning! Ah. Snow. We'll have more weather after this. Our musical guests brought to you by Walden Art Center, presenting the new West Street Live series. 
from their album, Eye in the Sky. This is Handmade Moments with Open Up Your Heart. down to the buttered biscuit. That's your theme song. You guys have been on a couple of times now, and this is this is the jam. I love it when you're here. I love it. I think we need to put it on loop and just play it in the restaurant over and over and over again. Over and over and over I mean, yeah. if you keep bringing this kind of stuff, yes, whatever you need, we will loop, we will make, we'll get into the studio, we'll record it. Just please, this. All I the know. Time. So, uh, what what is this stuff? Breakfast burrito, we have our cage free eggs, and mm. we have our red skin potatoes that we make in house. Yep. Then we have fresh shredded mm -hmm. cheddar cheese. Mmm. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, Strawberry pancakes? cheesecake pancakes. Oh, These yes. are an absolute hit. We sell them as appetizers. We sell them as main meals. Um, we start with a tra uh, strawberry um, strawberry pancake, mm -hmm. and we fill them with a strawberry cream cheese that we make in-house. Yes. Cover them over with a, a strawberry marmalade that we make also in-house. Another Ooh. thing that you serve is you're starting up, you've got a new catering menu. Yeah. So this is another way to reach people. Yeah, Anna, exactly. We are really excited to launch our catering menu. We yeah. have six different packages. Yeah. But we do 
do it for office parties yeah. or business meetings. Um, we've even done some special events at the Buttered Biscuit. Yeah. So that's been really fun to host those as what well. What a way to start your day. Like you go it's... to work and you're like, hey, <laughs> treat everybody. We're, we're going to have a breakfast bar here. Yes. Uh, Amazing. We've recently just partnered with Yelp. Okay. And you can find the Buttered Biscuit on Yelp and put your name on our list so you can have preferred seating. So I can come in and be like, Excuse me, I'm on the list. Yes. Yeah, and they yeah. go, oh, that list, and they put you right next to, put me next to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Bo, you get you're to usually sit next there to anyway. Outside. No, priority seating for you. Excellent. Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's amazing, and I love that Northwest Arkansas. We have all of these like. Um, explosive restaurants happening, you know? Absolutely. And particularly, Bentonville has got so much popping off in Benton County with all of the restaurants, the, the support from the community. We're thankful to have you on this program. Uh, and where can people find you? What's your website? That would be a good thing for us to yeah, know. Yeah, thebutterbiscuit.co. The butterbiscuit.co, folks. You can go there, go to Yelp, uh, put your name in, and, and you can find them there at the Butter yes. Biscuit. Thanks so much for joining us, Sam and Absolutely. Anna. We're going to get to try some of this stuff, I hope, before yes. we leave. We'll plate it and try it. For Stick sure. around, folks. we got more coming up right here on Later. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Later with Jason Sewell. And remember, you can drop us a line. We would love to hear from you. You can find us on your social media platforms and at LaterWithJasonSewell.com. Before we leave this episode, we have to thank all of our amazing guests, including Mindy Yates. Handmade Moments. Chris Engholm. Of course, Matt Nelson over there on the keys. Filling in on the keys. And Sam and Anna from the Buttered Biscuit. Butter Thanks biscuit. for joining us. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Let's eat some breakfast! <laughs>